the completion of an amazing racing journey. 14 starts at tracks on three different continents. Her adventure will culminate where it began in the fall of 2015, at Keeneland. Conte Partiro was sold as a yearling at the Keeneland September sale, broke her maiden at Keeneland, and will return to that most prestigious of auction rings for the November breeding stock sale. Conte Partiro was a first time out winner on the dirt in a four and a half furlong maiden sprint for two year olds in April of 2016. Professional football player Jacob Tammy was then part of her ownership group and he told the blood horse that she was a competitor and you could see it in her eye that day. Idiots over Conte Partiro another gear. Every week she was getting better, better, and just kind of always over delivering on what we were expecting from her. Two starts later, this daughter of Scat Daddy switched to the turf and blitzed the field in the Bolton landing stakes at Saratoga. She inhaled the leader with a breathtaking late kick, prevailing by almost six lengths in a five and a half furlong sprint. John Velasquez, and Conte Partiro pull away to win it. Yeah, once she got to the grass, it was like a, a fish to water. You know, she was just, uh, you know, even though she won convincingly here and, and showed the ability she, uh, for the dirt and affinity for it, as soon as we got to the grass, she just, she just took off. Conte Partiro took on the boys in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint that year, finishing second while traversing the unusual downhill course at Santa Anita. At three, Conte Partiro ventured to the legendary Royal Ascot meeting, and her late charge carried the day once more, over a testing one mile distance, and against 23 rivals, no less. With Conte Partiro from America storming through with Jamie Spencer, Conte Partiro led late to win. In only seven starts to that point, Conte Partiro had taken her connections on the ride of a lifetime with victories at three of the sport's most storied venues. Conte Partiro's win at Ascot, at Royal Ascot, for me is, it's gotta be number one on, I mean, just my memories in the horse business, honestly, just the setting, what she accomplished um, on the day and the people I was surrounded by, it doesn't get any better. That's why we're all in the game. I mean, I'll spend the next 30 years trying to do it again. It was just an amazing, amazing race, you know, as for, for how I had her prepared and, and the, the way her running style went completely opposite. And for her to win, it was, uh, you know, I'm pretty good at sprints and getting these horses to run, but it just shows that really the talent that she had to, to, to come from last at Royal Ascot in a meeting like that and to get up to, to win convincingly. And There's no easy races at Royal Ascot. Um, plenty of people come and try and win and they, they go home empty handed and the fact that she won shows all you need to know. Conte Partiro continued to hold her own against the best, competing at distances from five and a half furlongs to a mile and three sixteenths. But it was a move to Australia that led to another incredible chapter in this amazing mare's racing life. In her debut down under, then five-year-old Conte Partiro was a group three winner, but the best was yet to come. At age six, this past March, she came out of retirement to capture the seven and a half furlong Coolmore Classic, an Australian Group One test. Uh, it's Cotabatiro, nicely clearing the Coolmore Classic, and Cotabatiro goes on to win it. She followed that up with another Group One less than a month later, the One Mile Coolmore Legacy Stakes. Conte Patiro wins the Coolmore Group One double. That was really a defining moment for her. In, in Australia uh, that, that made her stand up and be counted as uh, what I believe is one of the best mares in Australia. Uh, certainly one of the, the best mares that, that I've had anything to do with and, and one of the toughest mares. And, uh, that combined with her international performance uh, certainly sees her as uh, one, of, one of the rare mares uh, in, in the world. There may never have been another horse to win at Saratoga, which is America's premier uh, race meet. Royal Ascot, which obviously England's premier race meet and then the Sydney Autumn Carnival. Uh, I think that's, that's a unique record. Conte Partiro hails from a family with a rich thoroughbred legacy. Her sire Scat Daddy has produced the likes of Triple Crown winner Justify and European champion Lady Aurelia. 
Conte Partiro is out of Temple Street, a grade one placed street crime mayor and a half-sister to Donworth, a stakes winner with multiple placings in graded stakes company. The dam, she's by street crime and he's another horse who's both versatile and international. Every distance the horses race, street cry had top class winners. And the other interesting thing looking at her pedigree, the second dam is by pulpit and that's the same formula that produced Justified. The extended family for Conte Partiro includes four-time champion Beholder, grade one winner Mendelssohn, and leading sire and grade one winner Inter Mischief. With a record of international success over five racing seasons on multiple surfaces and at varying distances, it is fitting that Conte Partiro returns to sell this November where she first visited the winner's circle. She's won as a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. She's won Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, turf, dirt. To win four and a half furlongs at Keeneland and to win going a stiff mile at Ascot, within 18 months of each other. I mean, she's done it all. Conti Partiro is uh, an amazing talent. Uh, she's shown that her ability that she has all over the world, and there's very few horses that you can say that about. Conti Partiro, toughness, soundness, durability. Push button, turn a foot, extremely genuine filly. I think she's proven it everywhere. She's extraordinary. Extraordinary for her versatility, extraordinary for her class, and extraordinary for her durability. A tip of the cap to a lady who embraced every challenge that came her way, Conte Partiro.